Hey everyone, this is Anton from Mixbox. I'm now going to do a series of videos on using the Digitone with Pro Tools. In this first video, we're going to do MIDI synchronization between the Digitone and Pro Tools. We'll set up the configuration within the Digitone and within Pro Tools. We'll also install the Overbridge software ready for the next video. And then we'll also link together Machine, Boom from within inside Pro Tools and the Digitone together, synchronize them with MIDI, and we'll play that within a setup within Pro Tools, and we'll see how that works. Let's start with the installation of the Overbridge software. So here I'm on the main site, click at the top to Overbridge, and then within Overbridge, we scroll down and find the download. Click on the download and then ensure that we've got Overbridge here. And then check for the one that corresponds with your computer. So mine is the Mac, so we'll go to that and download. Ensure that you remove the USB cable from your Electron before installing Overbridge. So I've clicked on the download DMG for Mac that came down, now double clicking on the Electron Overbridge installer. So this is gonna guide me through the installation, just checking the recommended specs. Continue, agree with the license. Now you see it gives me the options for the things I want to install. So I've just got the Digitone, so I'm going to remove the others uh, and just do the Digitone product and that's going to install VST and AU plugins. I use the standard installation. It does warn me the software will require a restart. The version that I'm installing is 2.039.10, which is the latest, I think it was released on June the 10th. So now we need to restart the computer. Now let's connect the USB cable to the Electron. Now that the computer's restarted, we'll just check that Overbridge has been installed. So at the top of my screen here, I can see the icon, which I click on, and you can see the Overbridge engine is there. You can, of course, shut down the Overbridge engine. Once you've enabled Overbridge on your Electron device, it will appear here uh, with the device name, device type within this window. If it hasn't actually started, you can find Overbridge engine here. You can double click it and it will start the Overbridge engine. If you're using Mac OS, you may need to just check the security and privacy settings. So to the Apple icon and then select system preferences. Then within system preferences, you click on the security and privacy. And within security and privacy, if you need to explicitly allow the software to load, it'll be listed here and you just need to allow it. So now we'll set up the Electron. Within settings, firstly, we'll go to MIDI config. And in MIDI config sync, and what we need to make sure that we've got is standard syncing is the clock receive and transport receive. Nothing else is ticked. Then we go to system and within system we do the USB config. The USB config we just make sure that we've got USB MIDI only selected because we're not using the overbridge just for the moment. And just for completeness just check the audio and the routing I have is to the main outputs here. Then we go to our main screen with the pattern that we wish to sync. So here's a session that I have in Pro Tools, which I would like to synchronize the Electron Digitone to. At the moment, what I've got is Boom uh, connected into here. Just got a sequence going there. Let's have a play of that. So that's synchronized and that's playing in Pro Tools. Now what I want to do is add your Digitone to it. So the first thing I have to do 
is go and set it up within MIDI. So within setup, go to MIDI and then MIDI beat clock. Within MIDI beat clock, uh, enable at the top here and then you should be able to see your Electron Digitone or your Electron product here. And I've clicked that and OK. So I've got a audio track here with the Digitone connected. So within here, uh, it is to my interface uh, 1 and 2. I've got that routed through to a mix bus. Uh, then if I just click here just to be able to listen to it and now I'll click play. So I've got both playing there. Let me just go back to the start and just mute boom so you can just hear the digitone. So that's connected in. What I want to do is just make sure that they're actually synchronized correctly. So what I'm going to do is click record on here to record off that. And I'm also going to put record on boom and go back to the beginning of the track. And then I'm just going to press record. So I've just done a quick recording of those two. What you'll also see is in uh, the boom instrument I've got here, it's routed through to a bus and to an audio channel. So I'm taking it as an audio channel the same as I've got the Digitone, which allows me then to just record it. So what I'll do now is just select in the middle here of it and I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm looking to check and see if they're actually on the bar. So I've got grid here and it's on a bar and I'm just checking to see, you know, is that pretty close? And it is, right? So that's synchronized together. Uh, but if you find it isn't, you may need to do a MIDI offset to delay or uh, advance the digitone, uh, depending on how your setup is. So what if we wanted to go crazy, add in another drum machine onto this and see if we could synchronize that as well? Well, let's go and add in, let's see, let's add in a new instrument. So. Yeah, instrument track and let's put in machine that could be good right so let's put that in and then what I'm going to do add in the plugin and we'll just pick the first rhythm on there and we'll see if we can get that to synchronize it may not sound great but you know we'll just mix that together so on here we've got this first kit that loads up so we'll just load that in go to the beginning and let's play So let's now just create uh, an audio track and record it. So new track. We're going to do the machine audio here. And we'll just record that now from the beginning and we'll see if we've got the transient in the right place. Let's have a look. So that looks pretty good to me. If you find that machine isn't synchronizing properly, then go into mix and then within mix, essentially turn the low latency off. Sometimes if you turn this off, it just helps with some of the synchronization. So here, let's just go through it and let me mute the Digitone, the Boom and Machine and let's just add them one by one. So if I firstly, here's the Digitone, then we can add in Boom and now let's add in Machine. synchronized together. 
So that's the first video in this series on using the Digitone with Pro Tools done. But in this video, we just did the installation of the Overbridge software, and then we did synchronization with MIDI only. In the next video, I'll do a more advanced synchronization using an AAX BST wrapper to utilize the Overbridge software more inside of Pro Tools. We'll also do audio routing as well in a more advanced way than what we did within this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and you'll get more updates on using the Digitone with Pro Tools. Until the next one, see you then.